Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Morgan. I'm one of the agency success reps here at Glovebox. Thanks for joining the training call. Um, we'll give it just a couple more minutes for some people to jump on, and then we'll go ahead and get started. For those of you that are jumping on, we're just giving it a couple more minutes for um, some other people to get on and then we'll get started. All right, uh, for the sake of everyone's time on this Friday, um, we will go ahead and get started. So I am Morgan. I'm one of the agency success reps here at Glovebox. And I have my colleague Willa on as well. She's gonna be um, managing the chat. So if you guys do have any questions that come up, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, and then also at the very end of the training, I'm gonna open it up for questions and you're more than welcome to unmute yourself and ask any questions that you guys have. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone so much for joining. So this is your training call today. Um, this is where we're gonna kind of run through what exactly Glovebox is. Um, for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with the process and how it's gonna work within your agency, um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Willa, are you able to see my screen right now? Yep, I can see it. It's a little zoomed in, Morgan. I'm not sure, but it looks good. Okay, cool. Perfect. So I'm going to use Primal, which is going to be our kind of test agency that we use here at Glovebox. But the, for those of you that do have access to your own agency HQ, you're more than welcome to follow along. Um, if you don't have access to your HQ, feel free to reach out to your owner or your point of contact at the agency, and they can go ahead and send you guys um, an invitation request to get connected. Um, so this is really what we call your guys' agency-facing dashboard. This is what you guys will all have access to within your agency, where you're really going to be managing your clients throughout the day. So yours will obviously all be branded around your specific agency um, with your logo. It will have your agency ID. And then this connect link right here, this is basically the link that is taking your clients directly to your agency platform. So when we start rolling out Glovebox to your clients, they will be receiving an email that comes from Glovebox it's all branded around your agency, but in that email, there's a link that they will be able to click on. And again, it's taking them directly to your agency platform. Um, I've been working really closely, what we have with your owners on getting your guys' website updated, your email signatures added, um, a QR code we provide for any marketing materials, but basically all of those avenues of marketing will all include your guys' connect link. So if you guys ever need access to that link, you can just copy it. And again, this is the link that 
is how your clients are all getting directly connected to your agency's platform. So down here, when it pulls through AMS clients, this is just showing you guys how many active clients we are currently pulling through from your AMS side. So we are pulling those files from your guys' data. So that way we have the most up-to-date information in Glovebox based upon what you guys have on the AMS side. So again, this is how you guys will be able to manage, you know, how many clients we're pulling over, number of policies, and then verified users is always going to show you how many people have gotten connected to your platform. So coming into the clients tab, this is really the tab that you guys will be utilizing the most within your agency. So there's these filter options here that allows you again to filter between verified clients. These are going to be clients who have already gotten connected. Invited will be any pending invites that you guys have sent on the agency side. And then unverified will be any of your clients that we've pulled over from the AMS data. However, they haven't yet gotten connected to Glovebox. So in this clients tab, we have this search filter here that allows you guys to search by the client's name, policy number, email, or phone number. So as I say to all of my agencies, Every phone call that you guys are having with clients is going to be the opportunity to bring up Glovebox. So you have a client that calls in, we'll just say Brian. We can search for Brian. It's gonna pull up all of the Brian's that we have. And as you're on the phone with Brian and he's calling in and he's asking you about his Erie auto policy information, you can come in here and you can say, hey, Brian, I don't know if you're aware of our app that we offer now here within our agency. It's a great way to utilize and manage all of your policies directly through one convenient location. So as you're on the phone with Brian, you can click on this invite button, and this is going to send Brian an email directly to get connected to your guys' platform. In that email, again, there's gonna be that connect link that they'll be able to click on and it's going to take them directly into Glovebox and directly to get connected to your agency's platform. So that's kind of how you guys are really gonna be utilizing that search functionality to be able to search clients and invite them right when you're on the phone with them. Additionally, with that is as you can see down here, it's giving me this message that says, invite this client to add documents. So this is really where we're going to start talking about document upload. So with this being said, if you have a client that's calling you guys in and they're asking you for their auto ID cards, really we're trying to steer you guys away from emailing documents now out to clients. So nowadays in your process, I'm sure that you have a client that calls in and is saying, hey agency, I need my auto ID card for my ERI policy and you're like, perfect, I'm gonna shoot you over an email and attach that ID card so that you have access to it. Well, now that you guys have Glovebox within your agency, we're really trying to have you guys use document upload because A, you are adding it directly to the client's account so that this way when they go into their Glovebox account, they'll see their documents lying in there. And then B, you know, a couple months from now when they need that ID card again, they're not calling back into your agency saying, hey, can you resend me that ID card? They can always just pull up the documents within a couple seconds directly through their app or if they choose to use just the web browser version. So all you need to do is just click invite. And as soon as you hit send, you can start drag and dropping documents into a client's account. So with document upload, it's going to be available for any pending users or any verified users. So as you can see, it's not allowing me to drag a document because it's telling me that I need to invite this client first. So again, like I mentioned, if you're on the phone with the client, you can say, hey, Brian, I'm gonna send you an invite to get connected to Glovebox. And additionally, I've added those documents directly to your account. And I'll show you guys how easy it is to do that. So if we come back here to the pending ones, As you can see with this mic test that we have here, now it allows you to drag and drop policy documents. So pretty easy, you can just drag and drop them. So if you have 10 documents that you're adding to a client's account, you can drag and drop them directly into Glovebox. Or if you just wanna click to upload, then you can just upload it directly from where you have that document saved. 
So I'm going to go to my test account so I can kind of show you guys what this looks like. So once a client has gotten connected to Glovebox, they're going to show up as an active policy holder. And from the data that we're pulling from the AMS side, we are pulling through the email and phone number that is listed from the primary insured information. So if we come back here and we go to the unverified tab, as you can see for like Chris Advisor, we're pulling through this email and this phone number for Chris. This is all based upon what we're pulling from your guys' AMS data. So when the clients are first getting connected to Glovebox through that initial connection, they are logging in with the email and phone number. And that's how we know what active policies they have based off of the data that we pull from the AMS side. So again, once your clients are getting connected to Glovebox, we're asking them for their email and phone number. And that's what's pulling through that information directly from what we pull from your guys' data. So if we come back here to my account, it has a check mark next to my email. This just kind of lets you guys know how the client got connected to Glovebox, whether it's through their email, phone number, or both. It will show a check mark next to it. This personal profile screen, this just allows you guys to edit the name that pulls through from the AMS side. So if you have a client that, you know, his name is Jeffrey, but really he goes by Bob, you can come in here and you can edit this personal profile and that will allow you to update the name. So this way, when you guys are searching for the client, you know, you can search Bob and it's going to pull up, you know, all of his policy information. And then if you guys choose to add a date of birth, you can add that into the client's profile as well. Up at the top here, so what's really nice about Glovebox too is that your clients are able to manage both personal and commercial policies directly through one app. So if they happen to have both personal and commercial, you guys on the agency side will be able to see that up at the top here. So obviously if you can click on both, they happen to have both policies. If commercials grayed out, then we're only pulling through their commercial policies, or excuse me, their personal policies. So this is where you guys can see um, whether we're pulling through both personal and commercial. Let's start on personal policies just to walk you guys through this. So again, this is going to be the information that we're pulling through for all active policies. So we're always going to pull through the carrier, the policy type, the source, if it's coming from AMS, is going to show AMS. This shows manual just because I manually added it for today's call. And then we always pull through billing, whether it's going to be direct bill or agency bill. So we'll go into the agency bill more for the commercial side because we run into that a lot more with our commercial clients. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys what the um, difference is with that from the client's perspective. So then we're going to pull through the name of the insured, policy number, effective date, and expiration date. So again, this is the information that we're pulling through for all active policies. And then as you can see, it's allowing me to use document upload to drag and drop those policy documents. This is now where we're going to get into the two different types of carrier connections that we have here at Glovebox. So as you can see with eSurance, it's giving me this message here to activate monitoring. So I'll show you guys the list, but we do have some carriers here at Glovebox where we have what we call an active policy monitoring available. What that means is, is basically it's a carrier that the client has the um, opportunity to connect to with their carrier credentials directly through Glovebox. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to activate a live policy monitoring and it's going to pull through all of their active policy information, all of their policy documents directly from the carrier side, and it becomes live with the carrier side. So as you guys can see with eSurance, it's telling me activate monitoring. I'll show you guys what it looks like from the client's perspective. But if they do happen to have a carrier that they can connect to, when they first get connected to Glovebox, we really help them with that onboarding. And we will realize that they have a carrier that they can connect to and we'll help them with that activation process. And I'll show you guys how easy it is to do through Glovebox. So if you do show active monitoring next to one of your client's carrier cards, 
that just means again that they have the opportunity to connect to the carrier. So this way we're live and it's going to pull through updated policy documents. You know, if there's a policy change that takes place, update to a driver, update to a vehicle, it basically becomes live with the carrier side and it will automatically pull through those updated documents. But you can still utilize document upload if you want to. So if you're sending them a renewal document, a welcome letter, um, you know, a quote, whatever type of document, you'll still have the ability to use document upload to drag and drop documents in. Then for Falcon, as you can see, it doesn't have that activate policy monitoring, which no big deal. We're still going to pull through the same policy information like what we did for the insurance. Only difference is, again, we don't have that live monitoring. So you guys will be able to utilize document upload to drag and drop those policy documents. So I just added this deck page directly to here so that you guys can see what it looks like once you've added a document. What's really nice about document upload is once you guys do drag and drop a policy document into a client's account, they receive an email right away letting them know that your agency just added a document to your Glovebox account. And in that email, there's a link that they click on and it takes them directly into Glovebox and directly to that document. So we really try to help you guys again on the marketing side, just driving your clients to be using Glovebox to manage all of their policies, view all their policy documents. And this way, you know, if it's Weekends, after hours, they can't call into the agency. They can easily just pull up Glovebox and have access to those documents within just a couple seconds. So you guys can view any documents. You can download them. You can edit the document. So if you add a document and let's just say you don't like the way it's saved on your computer, you want to make it really bold to the client what document this is, you can change the name. And then you can also, we have all these different categories. So like I mentioned, we're really, really trying to have you guys use document upload for any type of document that you're sending over to clients. So, you know, like I said, it could be a welcome letter. It could be a renewal document, um, you name it. Any type of these documents you guys will be able to use. And obviously, if you don't see your document type, you can always put other. So I'll put declarations since it's deck pages and I'll click save. So that's kind of the process of document upload. If you guys ever need to delete documents, you have full capability to remove documents as well from clients' accounts. Then coming down here, so Travelers is one of those carriers that I mentioned previously where we have that active policy monitoring. So once the client has connected, you guys will be able to see exactly what the client sees in their Glovebox account in HQ. So as you can see, it's showing monitoring. That means that they've connected to the carrier. The source now is gonna show carrier because we're pulling that policy information now from the carrier side. And then source will also show AMS if it's coming from the AMS side. Mine shows manual again, because I manually added it. And then billing will always pull through again, whether it's direct bill or agency bill. So then as you guys can see here, it's gonna pull through some additional information. So it's gonna pull through the driver information, my vehicle information with vehicle and VIN number. And then as you can see here, it's pulling through policy documents directly from the carrier side. So that's why it's showing source carrier. What's really nice about active policy monitoring, like I said, is we're live with the carrier side. So these dates in here will always be reflecting the same day that that client's in Glovebox, letting them know that there's that live connection. But like I said, if you guys still want to manually add documents, you know, I manually added this document. So that way you can utilize both the carrier side and document upload if you would like to. And then down here is just my homeowner's insurance policy, same thing. These obviously are coming directly from the carrier side and it's gonna show the same date as today. And then I manually added this document to show you guys as well that you could utilize both document upload and the active policy monitoring if it's available. Awesome. So we're gonna come back up to the top and now we're gonna go into commercial. So like I said, they have both personal and commercial. You guys will be able to toggle between both. So here, commercial is going to look very, very similar to personal. Um, only big difference is that we have an entire section just for certificates. 
So this obviously allows you guys to add certs to clients' accounts. Same thing as document upload. As soon as you add a certificate to a client's account, they receive an email letting them know with the link that they click on that takes them directly into Glovebox and directly to that certificate. With certificates, same exact thing. You guys can view them. You can download them, edit the name of the certificate. So obviously, if there's multiple in a client's account, you know, you probably want to rename them. So that way, when they're searching for that certificate, it's easy for them to pull it up. And then if you guys ever need to remove the certificate, you can remove certificates as well. And then down here, um, again, commercial is going to pull through the same information like what we do for personal policies. So we'll always pull through the carrier, policy type, the source again, if it's coming from your AMS side, we'll show AMS. Billing, this one I did agency bill, so that way you guys can see what it looks like from the client's perspective. Still pull through the name of the insured, your policy number, effective date, expiration date, and then document upload. Again, we'll work the exact same way as personal. Cool. So I am going to go directly into my Glovebox account. So what's really nice is once your clients have become verified users and they're active, you guys actually have the ability as well to hijack a client's account. So you guys could come in here, click view Glovebox. This is exactly what my Glovebox account looks like. So with Glovebox, it is going to be available as a web browser version or also the mobile app. So when clients are first getting connected through that initial process, um, we do, you know, again, allow them to have the web browser version. But if they are on their phone, it's going to be like any website. Like if you go out to a banking website now and they have an app available, there's always a banner up at the top saying download the app. That's exactly how Glovebox will work as well. So if they are on their Android or iPhone, We'll have that banner just always letting them know that you know the app is available. One thing I forgot to mention too with the apps is that um, all of you guys are going to have your app logos reflecting your agency logo. So um, whatever logo you know we set up initially for you guys on the client's phone itself, um, your app will specifically show your agency logo. So it's all going to be branded around your agency, which is really cool. Um, so once they're in Glovebox, this is kind of what the home screen looks like. So obviously, it's all going to be branded around your specific agency. This refer agency button basically allows your clients to bring you guys prospects and referrals. Additionally, you guys on the agency side, I always encourage my agencies to download Glovebox yourselves because this refer agency button basically sends a link over to that referral or prospect allowing them to get connected to your guys's platform. So if you guys think about it, you know, it's kind of like a digital business card for you guys as well. So if you're out prospecting instead of handing them, you know, a business card with the agency information, you can say, "Hey, you know, at our agency, we're now offering an app. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to send you over this refer agency link. Go ahead and click on it and get connected to our platform and then you can reach out to us." So this way, you guys are bringing prospects as well to get connected to you guys. Uh, requesting a quote. So this is the ability for clients to request quotes in the app, whether it's personal or commercial. So whatever capture links that you guys tied directly into the app, it's going to take them down that avenue. So some of you guys might have your own agency quote capture links where, you know, when they request a quote, it's taking them to your agency website or some agencies use SALT. Um, so depending on, you know, what link you guys put in here, you guys can always go out there and test it afterwards. But again, this is just the ability for clients to be able to request quotes in the app as well, whether it's going to be personal or commercial. Um, requesting service. So this is basically a type form that we've created for you guys for service requests. So pretty easy. Um, clients will also have the ability to request service in the app. So again, if you know it's after hours, weekends, during the workday, clients don't have time to call into the agency, they can use this app as their self-servicing tool. And you can say, you know, if you're really busy and you don't have time to call in for that service request, feel free to just do it through our app and then we'll get the request and we'll reach out to you guys. 
So again, it's just really allowing your clients to have this available at their fingertips where they don't need to be calling into the agency throughout the day. You know, they can do this all at their own convenience and then again, allow you guys to, you know, obtain that service request information and then reach out to them with, um, you know, the next steps. So we'll ask them first for their first and last name. We'll ask them for a good email address, how they prefer to be communicated. And then basically, how can we help you today? So these are, you know, all the different policies that they can choose that they need service on. As you can see, they can do commercial in here as well. So this could be for both personal and commercial service requests. So we'll just do auto policy for today's example. We'll say, great, what best describes your need? And then we'll say, you know, what, what, what best describes your need? Do you need to update driver, update coverage, other update? Increase add, decrease remove. So as you guys can see, we're gonna walk them through this flow depending on what button they click on. So obviously if they're clicking on home, we're gonna walk them through the different service requests for a home policy. Business, same for a business policy. So um, at the very end of this, you know, if they are submitting any type of coverage change, we'll ask them what effective date they wanna make the change. And then if it is some type, type of coverage change, we'll always put this verbiage at the end, just obviously letting them know that this does not bind any coverage without it confirmed and executed by your agency. So they'll have to type in yes to submit. Really nice thing about this is it's gonna transcribe this into an email. It sends a client over um, a copy of this entire service request so that they have it for reference. So it will email it directly over to them. And then this will be emailed directly over to your team. So whoever you guys have listed in your HQ um, under the customer service information for personal or commercial, um, that's who those requests are going to be sent over to. So if you guys do need to make any updates on these emails and phone numbers, um, your point of contacts at the agency and the owners know how to do so. So we can always come in here you can make updates to those and that way it's being routed to the correct contact. Awesome. So that is service requests. So if we go back into the app, again, those three options are going to be available on the home screen. Um, if you click on your guys's logo, <clears throat> this is what takes your clients to what we call the agency details page. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so these three options will also be available on the agency details page for them to use um, these three as well. And then additionally on this page, this is just gonna give the client all the information about the agency that they need to know. So obviously your website will show here, your address. This is gonna be your customer service information, social media information. And then if you guys do happen to have both personal and commercial lines, they can toggle between that contact information as well. So if they need to reach out for, you know, commercial sales requests, they know exactly where to find that info. So again, anyone that gets referred over to you guys, any referrals or prospects, you know, they could obviously get connected to your platform and they can come in here directly and request a quote if they want to, or if they just want to like reach out and, you know, set an appointment or get in contact with someone within the agency, they will have all of that contact info listed here. Awesome. So coming back to the home screen. Um, so right here up at the top, this is basically allowing the client to toggle between personal and commercial. So same thing as you guys on your end in HQ, the client will also have the ability to, you know, manage both personal and commercial through their app. So when the client is in here, as you guys can see, this e policy is giving me this message to activate policy monitoring. So again, this is one of those carriers where we have that active monitoring available for the client to connect to in order to become live with the carrier side. So if we click on this arrow here, this is all the information that the clients will see for every single active policy that we're pulling through, regardless if it has active policy monitoring available or not. So again, they'll be able to see all this information. And then if they click policy details, Oh, let's go back there. 
So for Falcon Insurance, same thing, we're gonna pull through all that information. And then if we click on policy details, this is where we're always taking them to what we call the carrier card. So as you guys can see, it's all gonna be branded around the carrier. So whenever they click policy details, if it is direct bill, it's gonna show the carrier information here. So if they need to log into the carrier, we're taking them directly where to go out to Falcon to log in. They need to make a claim. We're taking them directly where to go to make their claim, pay their bill, and then contact agency will always just take them back to your agency information. We just want to make sure that you guys are always the face to your clients and it's easy for them to get in contact with you guys if they need to. And then if you guys happen to have added any policy documents to this client's account, as you can see, this is where their policy documents will lay. So um, again, we're always directing them to that carrier site if they need to go out and make their claim or pay their bill or log in. But what's really nice about this is it's all still being done through your guys' agency's app. So it's still being done through the app. And then if they need to go back into the app, you know, we make that segue really easy for them. Um, so then if we come back to the home screen, so again, Travelers is one of those carriers that we have that active policy monitoring available. So again, once they've activated the monitoring, it's going to show monitoring next to it. And like I mentioned, the date will be the same day that they're in Glovebox. So it's still going to pull through the same information with all of this policy information. But then when we click policy details, again, it's still going to show that carrier card around travelers. Make a claim is still gonna take them directly where they go to make their claim through travelers. They need to pay their bill, takes them directly to travelers to pay their bill. Roadside help, um, if the carrier happens to have auto roadside help, we will always provide them with that information in the app as well. And then again, contact agency always takes them back to you guys as the agency. And then as you can see down here, once they have activated that policy monitoring, it's going to pull through vehicle information, driver information, and then again, all those policy documents directly on how it shows an HQ and how it's pulling from the carrier side um, once they've initiated that live monitoring. Awesome. So... Going back home, so again, they'll, they will be able to toggle between both personal and commercial. So if we come here to commercial, it's going to look very similar to personal. Again, the only difference is that here, we're going to have a section just for them to be able to view their certs. So like I mentioned, this one obviously shows the same um, document name because I uploaded it multiple times. But if you did have multiple certificates in here, you would want to make it easy for the client by renaming them so that they can search for that certificate easily. And then requesting a certificate. So if they happen to um, request a certificate, you know, it's going to take them directly to whatever avenue you guys want to put in here. So what's really nice about Glovebox is it's basically like a plug and play for you guys. So you guys decide, you know, what links you want to put directly in the app, whether it's that request a certificate form, request a quote form, and we can basically plug in whatever links you guys would like. And that's going to take that clients down, you know, that avenue that you guys choose. So again, if you guys need to update this information, that's all done directly through HQ. Um, which again, your point of contacts and owners know how to do that. So if you guys ever need to make those updates, that's all done on the HQ side and that will push live into the app once those updates are made. Awesome. Um, and then last thing on here, I just wanted to show you is the difference between that direct bill and agency bill. So this policy I added as an agency bill policy, that way you guys can see what it looks like from the client's perspective. So again, we're still going to pull through the same information. Only difference with this is that when you click on policy details, everything is now going to be branded around the agency rather than the carrier. So as you saw on my previous carrier cards, I showed you like travelers pulling through. Everything was showing the traveler's information. But with agency bill policies, we have it showing the agency just because it is that agency bill you know, direct connection. So 
Um, we'll still provide them, you know, with the contact agency, make a claim. We'll still take them out to um, the carrier site to make a claim. But as far as, you know, paying a bill, we put this message on every single policy that it says build by and then the agency. So that way they know for these types of policies, you know, they need to reach directly out to the agency to pay a bill. But again, it's still going to pull through the same information directly from the AMS side on those commercial policies. And then if you guys happen to have added any um, types of additional documents, they'll still be able to view their documents as well directly through the document section. All right, so that is going to cover Glovebox and the client's perspective. Um, so just going back into HQ, um, again, under this section, this is what I was pulling through directly in the app itself. So if you guys ever need to update those capture links again, this is where you guys can do so. Um, so if you have any questions on this, feel free to always reach out to your agency success rep, and we're more than welcome to help you guys get those updated. Um, with that being said, um, if you guys do have questions, you can always email or call your agency success rep. But additionally, we have this chat function that's available down here at the bottom right hand side of your screen. This will actually send a chat directly over to whoever your designated um, agency success rep is. So this is just a quick way, you know, if you have a quick question while you're in here and you need an answer, this will send it directly over to us and we can, you know, chat with you guys if needed. Um, up here up at the top here as well is going to be Glovebox University. This will just give you guys a ton of additional resources, support, tutorials, everything I went over today. Like if you're wondering, you know, additionally about document upload, it's going to, you know, give you video walkthroughs. So this is going to be a great resource for you guys. It's going to be uh, Glovebox University. But again, always feel free to reach out to your agency success rep as well with any questions that you guys have. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you guys under the resources tab. So if any of you guys are wondering what carriers we have that active policy monitoring available with, this will show you guys all of the list of carriers. So as you can see, travelers, that's the one I connected to. But these are going to be the carriers that we currently have that active policy monitoring available. So if you're ever wondering where that list lies, this is um, a live list that you know gets updated as soon as we get new carriers that are integrated but again if there is a carrier you know that you guys work a lot with that isn't on that list that's really where you guys will be able to use that document upload process to manually get those documents added and sent over to the client um, and then again it's still taking them directly to that carrier side whether they need to make a claim or pay a bill so as far as, you know, the client's experience, they really don't see a huge difference with that active policy monitoring. Again, it's just if you guys have to add those documents for the client or not. So um, perfect. So that basically wraps up our training call. Um, I don't know if there's any questions that are currently in the chat that we can answer um, or if, you know, if anyone has any questions and they just want to um, ask it. I'm going to allow you guys to kind of leave this the last couple minutes up to you guys to chime in and ask questions. Yes, yeah, so Maria asked if we're going to be sharing the recording. This recording will be out on Glovebox University, um, so feel free to go out and re-listen to this recording. All of our previous recordings as well are going to be out there. And then just to remind you guys too, um, if you ever want to attend another live training event, um, sometimes we we'll, we're gonna have like specific events such as how to market it or just a commercial event. So we'll do specific subjects. Um, but if you guys are ever looking for the live training event schedule, you can find that directly in here and you'll be able to register just like how you did for today. Um, so we should have August available within the next couple of days for you guys to register in the upcoming months as well. Awesome. All right. So I'm going to stop talking and allow anyone to um, ask questions if they have any questions.
Anything? All right. Well, it doesn't seem like any questions. It could be because it's a Friday and everyone's exhausted from the week. <laughs> but um, if you guys do have any questions, again, um, please feel free to reach out directly to your agency success rep. We are here to make you know this product successful for you guys. Um, so yeah, we will continue to reach out to you guys, you know, on a weekly basis, checking your numbers, making sure you guys are all, you know, up to date on everything. But yeah, these live training events are always just a good way to stay in touch with Glovebox, you know, see new enhancements. Obviously, you know, we're working for a tech company. So this product is just constantly in enhancing. So um, yeah, new features that are coming out. You guys will hear about those as well in these live training events. So yeah, appreciate you guys all joining. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys all have a great weekend.